Hello and welcome to the Lucian video tutorial series. In this video, we'll go over deploying File Center to your users on a large network. Now, if you watched the prior video about running File Center on a network, you learned that the key to administering File Center easily on a network is using shared settings, which is really a shared configuration that you post onto the network and link all of your users to. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is the easiest way to get File Center installed on all of your users' machines and to get all of those users linked up to those shared settings. My first step here on my administrator machine is to come back into my administrative tool, Administer Shared Settings under the Tools button. And here's my shared settings that I want to have my users connect to. This is my shared configuration. Now if I come up here to the top, there's an Advanced tab. And selecting this, you'll notice on the left-hand side, install file. What this does is this creates a, a settings file for the installation and when you install File Center it will automatically look to the settings file, draw information from it, and then set up the client machine accordingly. Now there are two values that you're going to want to enter. The first one is your product key. You can type in your office's product key right here or if it happens to already be on your machine just click use local key. The next setting bears some explanation, and that setting is post the install file to a certain path. Now here's what happens. What you need to do is place a folder somewhere on your network that has your file center setup file in it, and then you're going to be putting this settings file in that same folder. And what will happen is when you run the file center setup, it's automatically going to look and see if there's one of these settings files next to it, and if there is, it will open it draw settings out of it, and use those during the, during the install. For example, let's take a look at my network drive. Now, I've got two folders in here, one for my shared settings and one for my shared cabinets, and we explained those in the last video. But I've created another folder now, this File Center install folder. And inside of there, I placed my setup file for File Center. What I want to do now is make sure that I post this install settings file right here, right next to my setup file. So let's go back to the admin tool and do just that. Okay, back in my admin tool, let's place that path. And that's really it. The main purpose of this settings file is to link your client's machine to the shared configuration on the network. And that's going to happen automatically because I'm inside of this current instance of shared settings. So now I'm just going to click post installation settings file and it was created. That's it. Let's switch back over to my network drive and let's see what happened. Okay, so here's my setup file and now it's created this file right here, this fcinstall.ini. And as I mentioned, what's going to happen is when I run this file on my client machines, it's automatically going to look for this file, extract the information from it, and apply those settings during the install. The result is going to be I can go around to my client machines, double click this install file, step through the install, and when I'm done that machine will automatically be linked up to my shared settings. All of that shared configuration on the network will automatically come down onto that client machine. In fact, let's go to a client machine really quickly, run the install so that you can see what happens. Okay, I'm on another client machine now. I've just browsed out onto the network and I'm going to install File Center on this machine. First, I'm going to go to this File Center install folder that I created on my network drive. And I'm just going to double click the File Center setup file. And what this is going to do is the setup file will draw information from this file and it should automatically set up this machine for me. Let's go through the setup. Okay, the install has just finished. So let's fire up File Center and see what happens. And there we go. I start up File Center and I am instantly and immediately connected to my shared configuration out on the network and my cabinets have automatically populated. If there were other items in the shared configuration like folder templates or naming options, those would all be present in File Center too. So there you go, a fairly effective and painless way to get File Center deployed across your network and automatically set up for all of your users.